Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Inside Special. I hope you're well, looking after yourself on this Monday morning for you, Monday afternoon for me. I'm a little bit ahead of you, obviously. Um, yeah, it was a good weekend. We, we'll be talking a little bit about the main night game, obviously, but we'll talk a little bit around what the reason is that you jumped on this video, the Tosin Adara bio update. I've uh, got a couple of bits to talk about on there. So we're not going to stop, we're not going to wait, we're just going to jump straight in and talk about it because I've recorded this three times and my phone's mucked up each time. So no waiting around. So let's talk. There's two things to, to, to sort of announce first on it and then we'll talk. So from Fabrice Hawkins, he said that Fulham coach Marcus Silva prefers to toast a diary about to Tottenham and gain Eric Dyer, Pyre, Eric Dyer, as part of the deal, but the player wants to join Monaco, right? First one. Second one, from RMC, they've said that Tosin Adair, his move to Monaco is not progressing as Fulham wants to send him to Spurs and Fulham are insisting he joins Spurs as they want Eric Dyer. Okay. Plenty to... Plenty to sort of understand there. Um, A few things. First thing, Tosin Adara Bayou, yes, he may want to join Monaco, but it's not to say that I, I would say he doesn't want to join Spurs, right? I think a lot of people go, yeah, but he's going to be the backup, he's going to be this, that, the other. But let's be frank, there's plenty of cup games he'd play, and Romero does miss games with injury, so he's going to get decent game time this year. The other thing I'd say is, if you look at, if you if you were to take Tosin to Spurs, Eric Dyer to Fulham, the move suits everyone, right? So FFP, let's say Tosin costs 20 million, Eric Dyer gets over 10 million. FFP wise, the books are getting fairly well balanced for, uh, for Fulham. They can obviously spend a little bit more on replacements, for example, them losing Mitrovic. We also don't have an issue with FFP when it comes to 10 to 20 million pound signings, right? The other thing that I would say is Eric Dyer at a club like Fulham, and this there's no knock on any team that are finishing mid table when they've just come up from the championship. They had a fantastic season last year, Fulham. But if you look at a mid table team in the Premier League, when you sit there and you think Eric Dyer plays them, you think, yeah, he probably does quite well there, actually. It's kind of like the Harry Maguire thing where at Leicester, everyone thought, wow, he's a really good player at Leicester. He went to Man United, didn't do well, and everyone's gone, he's rubbish. Yeah, but if he was still at Leicester playing the way he, he does now, everyone probably still think he's all right. I think he would do well at a club. A mid-table team. I really do, Eric Dyer. There's less pressure on you. There's less focus on you. You can kind of just do your thing. And I think he would do well there. Um, it's not going to cost a lot. He would do well. Tosin would be a really great as defender to have at Spurs as well. I still think Monaco will press ahead. And I think maybe Monaco might offer a deal where Fulham find it too good to turn down. But I also think Fulham will look at it and go, but if we were going for a Dyer, and we were obviously saying Tosin the other way, the, tr the negotiation would be quite quick. I don't think Daniel Levy would try and get every single penny for a Dyer, because I think Eric, uh, Daniel Levy would go, yeah, but we're getting a guy in return who we're going to want, who's quite cheap, so we're not going to overdo it when it comes to the, 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 the sale for Eric Dyer. You're basically going to look at it and go, but we'll knock up a few quid there, knowing that we're going to get the guy that we want. It works out. Obviously, an Ange ball, maybe Tosin's fantastic, but, you know, he definitely suits that style of defending in space, quick, physical, athletic, all that stuff, right? Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll sort of see. Uh, and I saw I saw the quotes from Fabrizio Romano talking about how that we're probably going to sign at least one striker this summer because of the fact that Harry Kane's gone. I, 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 I do know that before anyone does talk about it. I did see that quote, and I do still think it'll be good for Orban. But the part of me goes, this summer... It doesn't mean it doesn't stop us getting... Because they want to give a Charleston a chance, right? Which, fair enough. I thought he played well on Saturday, but they want to give him a chance. I think that would entail having Ivan Tony maybe in January when he's back. So instead of buying a player, paying him his wages when he's not going to be playing for us, then getting him in January when he's then be able to play for us, it does make a bit more sense. So, well, obviously, that's a little bit down the line. We'll obviously talk about it on this channel a little bit later on. But... Something to think about. But let's talk Man United, because I do want to speak about that game. Um, if you didn't know, by the way, uh, if you lived on a rock, we won 2-0 at home to May night on Saturday. I thought the first 30 minutes we didn't play very well. We looked cagey, we looked awkward. They were much the better team in the first half an hour. For the rest of the game, though, I think we were head and shoulders above them. I think um, we played fantastically well. Uh, 
defensively looked very solid from that point onwards. I know they hit the post once, but other than that, we looked very solid. thought Mickey van der Ven and Romero, there you go. There's your, there's your centre-half partnership we've been wanting. We definitely have that now, which is a good thing. Uh, Desi Adogi, I feel like we stole him from Udinese. They were like, I think it was £12 million. Something. We, we definitely stole him for that money. He looks like such a player. Uh, Porro was great as well. On the ball, fantastic. Link-up play was beautiful. You tell he plays in the Spanish national team, but... Definitely, definitely really well, really impressed with him. Defensively, really, really solid as well from Pedro. <clears throat> I think that's the only thing, if his game was to get knocked for anything, it'd be defensively. And if he even proved that, we've got a, an unbelievable right wing back or right back in that situation. Uh, Vicario was really, really good, made some good saves as well. Um, you know, obviously, if you were a fan that sort of slagged him off after one game because he was not very good, then I hope you go over the top and make sure that you tell everyone that you're fantastic because it's one game where you played really well as well. So I hope you're that kind of guy. But if you're, you know, if you're a little bit more level-headed like myself, it was one game where I thought he was all right against Brentford. We conceded two goals that wasn't his fault. We then kept a clean sheet where he made some really good saves. So I'm, I'm impressed with Vicario. Early doors, let's just see how he is maybe in about a month to two time. But I was really happy with that performance. Midfield three of Basuma, Madders and Papamatis are fantastic. Uh, Basuma again, uh, man of the match, dominated that midfield. Uh, Matters' link up play is unreal with him, as well as Matters linking up with the attackers. I feel confident when Matters has got the ball. Even when we're getting pressed, I feel confident when he has the ball. And Pab Matasar, unreal, unreal performance. You know, with those two dominating midfield, fantastic going forward. Link up play was great. That looks like that could be a midfield three. That really does. And then we've got Bentacore to come back. I'm excited to, to know we've got that midfield three and then adding in the best midfield we have. Exciting. And then the, the top three, I mean, look, Brentford, I didn't think, I think they played very well, but Man United, they played well. Um, Richardson was great. Hold-up play was fantastic. Link-up was good. Yes, maybe the goal wasn't there, but played quite well. And the other the other teammates did say he played quite well. Uh, Sonny played well, link up played, picking a pass by the way. I was I was I noticed this. He was picking a lot of really good passes where Sonny's never been one of those guys that has picked a good pass. So maybe that he's transitioning from instead of going from I'm running past everyone with my quick speed, now and he still does that from time to time, but now he's picking passes and I quite like that. Maybe he goes more into a creative player instead of being goal screw was a couple of years ago. And Kulu was good. You know, I think with Kulu, they show him down the right on his right so often that he still tries cutting his left. Every now and then, when he runs down his right, we create a lot of good opportunities. I mean, the Papamatasar's goal came from him running down to his right. So a lot of good stuff there. But a lot of take in there. But yeah, definitely played well. Um, Bournemouth away this weekend. Obviously, I'll be back home in England doing a preview ahead of that game, probably on Friday. So I will be home. I'm back home uh, Wednesday. So I will definitely be at home to seeing ring light, seeing, seeing less of my, my upper body, because you'll see just from the shoulders up instead of, everything you see now but yeah definitely uh definitely good to go home hey anyway, guys that's in the video hope you did enjoy it drop a like on it if you did in the comment section below toaster dire bio us dire that let me know what you think about that sort of situation obviously tell me your thoughts on the main night game as well i really want to hear what you said because i was happy with the performance but only after the 30th minute onwards you let me know what you think as well subscribe to the channel if you are new hit the bell notification for more but anyway guys that's in the video and i'll see you all very very soon take care guys